Okay, this is the M1 paper from June 2021. This is question number four. It's not all of it. Let's just uh, make it so you can see all the question there. Uh, and it's one of these questions that we don't like. It's a forces question, but it's this connected particles business. Uh, these normally scare me. Actually, this question is just worth three marks and three marks there. So maybe it won't be too difficult for us and we can actually have a go at doing it. But let's read through what it says. So it says, figure one shows a large bucket used by a crane on a building site. Mass of the bucket is equal to 15 kilograms. Uh, it's attached to a cable. Yeah, fair enough. And when the bucket is on the ground, a bag of cement of 25 kilograms is put in the bucket. Bucket plus the bag moves vertically upwards with a constant acceleration of 0.2. Air resistance is modelled as being negligible. Can we find the tension in the cable? Well, actually, that's not too bad to be able to do. So let's have a go at doing this one, part A. So what we said is we've got this bucket here. We've got 25G because of the cement, and we've got 15G because of the actual bucket itself. We've got a tension, obviously, in the uh, cable. And then they told me that it is accelerating upwards with A being equal to 0.2 meters per second squared. So actually, this one is okay. You know, Now, inside here, where you've got the cement, you've got reaction force and all sorts of things like that. But I don't need to worry about that. For this one, I know I'll have to do that for part B, and you know that might be a bit scary. But for part A here, we can just consider the system, consider the whole system. It's big enough so you can see. So cons consider the whole system. Resolve vertically. And what have I got going on? I've just got T up, those two forces going down. If it's accelerating upwards, I know the T is the biggest one. So I'm just gonna apply F equals MA. And F is gonna be T minus 25G minus 15G. That's gonna be equal to mass times acceleration. And because it's the mass for all of it, that's 40 times by 0.2 there. Well, that's gonna be enough to be able to work out what T is then. T is equal to 40G plus um, eight. So T works out to be 400 Newtons, if you calculate that. And remember, because of G, we do it to two significant figures as and when necessary. Right, this second part's gonna be the nasty part, but let's just have a look at it. So uh, first of all, let's look at what the question says. So the question says, um, cement's taken out. Now we've got a box of tools of mass 12 kilograms placed in the bucket. Later on, the bucket is moving downwards this time. Okay, so I'm gonna need to, to reassess my diagram here. Um, it's gonna be moving downwards. Um, air resistance isn't in, involved in anything, but now it says, oh, this is horrible, doesn't it? Find the magnitude of the normal reaction between the bucket and the box of tools. Okay, right, let's be brave and have a go at doing this one. So what we've got is this bucket again this time, but now this box of tools, I'm actually gonna think of what's going on there. So we've got our tension in our string, we've got the 12G because of the tools, we've got the 15G because of the weight of the, the bucket itself. And we've got that it's accelerating down now here with minus 0 0.1, depending on which way around uh, I'm thinking of making it. So what I can do though, is I consider just the box here. Now, if I consider the box in here, then I only need to consider this part here. I'm not gonna consider the whole system. I'm only considering the box there. So again, I need to make that clear to the, 
sorry, to the examiner that if I just consider the box, what's happening to that box? Well, again, I can resolve vertically. This isn't going to be too bad. I can resolve vertically and we're going to do F equals MA. I know it's going downwards, so I'm going to get 12G minus R is equal to mass times acceleration, which is 12 times minus 0 0.1. And then you can just rearrange that. R is going to be equal to 12G plus 1.2 if you rearrange all that. So R works out to be 119 or rather 120 newtons because we have to do it to two significant figures. So although we don't like those questions, that one hopefully wasn't too bad and should make sense.